Hey guys, I'm so excited for you to watch this little segment on catching dogfish, catch and cook, and the excitement of the little man that caught the fish later on the video. Please watch it and enjoy. What's up guys, it's Leroy Heisen with OBX Surf and Sound. I'm on the Avalon Pier and I just met this young this young man and I just caught this, uh, what's this fish called, what is this? Little shark. Little shark and uh, where you guys said you from? We're from uh, Mount Jackson, Virginia right now and uh, we, we run JD's Chow Line, so look us up on Facebook and we're gonna put a recipe on there with this shark on it. Oh, you heard that, what's the name of it again? JD's Chow Line. JD's Chow Line, check them out. Peace. What's up folks? <laughs> Heisen Wood, OBX Kids Family Fun Fishing, and OBX Surf and Sound, and I'm on the Avalon Pier, and I came across this guy right here. Wow, I think it's called a dogfish. Not a dogfish. It's called something, but let me know. It's a type of shark, I guess. But fun, 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 fun fishing, even at night. It's kind of cold out, but man, it feels good. I'm gonna let this guy go. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my goodness, let me go! Ah! Go. Ah. This little man has got a, got a big old fish. Big old fish. Oh, it came off. It sure did. It was a dog fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here he comes. Okay, nice and easy. Keep winding. Keep winding. Good, 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 good. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. He's strong. He's strong. Play a little bit more, Brantley. Got him? Oh, 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 where'd he go? Got him. Wind your line, wind your line, wind your line in, wind your line in. So then get hooked up. Easy, 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 easy. Wind, wind, wind. All right! <laughs> 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 Pumped up now, boy. Yeah, boy. See, that's his spine right there. That'll that'll hurt you right there. This part right here. Yeah. That's a spine. It's real hard. That's real hard. Yeah, don't. Yeah, it's real hard. It'll, it'll stick you. Touch All right, right so there. don't touch it. Yeah. Really. I can touch it right here. No, nope, no, nope, that's his spine right there. See it? Yeah. You don't want to touch him right there. So, so I just touch him on. What do I do? I touch him on. Oh my gosh. Who's the best, man? <laughs> oh my! Hey, you want to hold that? You film it. Can you see? It? All right. Guys, guys, down this and, uh, is what I'm talking about. That, that is the biggest. All right, I've already um have olive oil in the bag. I already have olive oil in the bag um, when I marinated it, and so I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit of olive oil in the pan as well. So we'll go ahead and put them in and see what happens. You know, it's the first time I'm doing this here, and this is a spiny dogfish. And I found out that in England, when they have uh, what we call fish and chips, <laughs> many times this is the fish they use. It's a very white meat, okay? And I'll put it in, probably do like eight, eight, it's not 34, maybe 10 minutes or so, and just see how it tastes. I think I'm gonna throw some Obey on it. Obey! Throw some Obey on there as well. But the meat looks so white already, it's so, so, looks so good. Mm. Medium heat, like six.
a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter for, for taste. It's on a medium heat. Mmm. Smells good. Oh my goodness. And I can probably catch four or five of these a night easily. I threw away a bunch. You know, once I figure out how to how to you know fillet them pretty quickly, I, I saw a good video last night that I'm gonna try. Um, get some really good, good, good fillets out of it. bit of obey to it as well not a lot just a little bit it's been five minutes so far mmm that smells good talked to a guy the other night and he said the meat at the tail is a lot uh, more firm than the meat near the head in the back area um, I haven't experimented with that yet but this part right here I can see it looks like it's not as firm as some of the, the other parts been six minutes so far. I'm going to let it cook for about 10, 10 to Stay tuned, let you know how it tastes. All right, here's the moment of truth. And this is a uh, dogfish caught off the Avalon Pier. Um, and uh, let's see how it tastes. Good taste, not real firm, a little bit squishy, but not bad. Got a little bit of Parmesan cheese on the hood. Let's see, took another piece out. Wow, this piece is a little bit more firm. Mm, good taste. This would be perfect on a um, taco, fish taco. <laughs> perfect. Perfect on a fish taco. Mm hmm. It's good. It's good. Didn't have a fishy taste. Pretty good texture. It definitely is a little bit softer than a regular fish as far as it, um, the texture as well. But very, very good. Very, very good. Will I eat it again? Of course. But I'm thinking on a big old, nice old sandwich, some lettuce, tomatoes, mayonnaise. Mmm, good.
Mm. Mm. Okay. That's good. All right, anyway, guys, this is uh, Captain Cook, Dogfish. Have a long beer. Try it, you might like it.